Hello, welcome to Taylor Sinise Yoga and Fitness. My name is Taylor, and this is your slow flow work from home break. So I know that many of us are working from home, and that often means longer hours with less breaks. So I've designed, designed this flow with you in mind. Just a short break, a refresher and a reset for your mind and your body. So let's jump right into it. We'll start at the top of our mat with our feet hip width distance apart. Bring your hands together at heart center, close your eyes. We'll take just a few centering breaths here. Take a deep breath in through your nose, fill up your belly, feel your rib cage expand. And open mouth, exhale, let it go. Another one just like that, deep breath in, fill up. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. One more cleansing breath in through your nose, big belly breath. We'll hold this one at the top for three, two, one. Exhale, let it go. Now seal your lips so that you can work into your ujjayi breath, your warming breath, your meditative breath. You will breathe in and out of your nose with just the slightest constriction to the back of your throat. Inhale. And then exhale, send the breath right back out through your nose, ujjayi breath. Keep that breath throughout your practice. Start to gently blink your eyes open. Float your arms to your side bodies. Face your palms forward to your front. Pull up through your center, engage your abdominals, and lengthen through the crown of your head. Inhale, mountain pose. Fingertips reach up tall towards the ceiling. Take a moment and breathe here. Draw your shoulders down your back. Ground down through your feet. Feel the earth underneath them. And lengthen through the crown of your head. Fire up your leg muscles. Engage your quads and your glutes. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, side stretch. Drop your right arm against your right leg. Reach your left arm up and over. Lengthen and open through your left side body. Bump your hips out to the side just to make some space. But still feel the support from your right side. Rotate your chest towards the ceiling. Draw your left shoulder down your back. Inhale, mountain fingertips reach up tall. Exhale, side stretch to the left side. Drop your left arm. Reach your right arm up and over. Pull your shoulder down your back. Have just the slightest rotation of your heart towards the ceiling. Fire up your core muscles. Inhale, mountain fingertips reach up tall. Exhale, forward fold with a bend in your knees. Hinge at your torso. Release your fingertips all the way down to your mat. Now inhale, half lift. Plant your palms against your shins. Take a moment and breathe here. Shift the weight into the balls of your feet. Engage your abdominals so there's no sway in your lower back. And gaze to the top of your mat. Deep breath in. Exhale, tabletop pose. Plant your hands and your knees. Come to all fours. Your shoulders should be stacked right over your wrist, your hips over your knees. Walk your knees backwards just a little bit. We are lowering all the way down to our bellies. So lower all the way down to your mat. Flip to the tops of your feet, shoelace side down. Palms are underneath your shoulders. Inhale, Cobra Pose. Start to peel your chest off of your mat. Really press your feet down for some traction there. And gaze down so you take pressure from the back of your neck. Inhale, lift your spine just a little bit higher. Exhale, release your baby cobra, release all the way down. Inhale, tabletop pose, push up to all fours. Hold for your exhale. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog or hold your tabletop if you prefer. Lift your hips towards the ceiling. Maybe pedal out your feet. Lengthen it and stretch through the backs of your legs, through your hamstrings, your calves, and your Achilles. And then find some stillness on your mat. 
we'll flow through that sun A, one breath to one movement, just a little bit faster. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel forward to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift, flatten out your spine. Exhale, forward fold, release it down towards your mat. Inhale, mountain pose, stand up tall, reach your fingertips towards the ceiling. Exhale, side stretch, drop your right arm, reach your left arm up and over. Inhale, mountain, fingertips reach up tall. Exhale, side stretch in the opposite direction. Drop your left arm against your left thigh. Inhale, mountain, fingertips reach up tall. Exhale, forward fold, release it all the way down to your mat. Inhale, half lift, flatten out your spine. Exhale, tabletop, step your knees back and then lower all the way to your belly. Inhale, baby cobra, peel your chest, light pressure in your hands, press the tops of your feet down. Exhale, release your baby cobra. Inhale, tabletop, push up. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift your hips towards the ceiling. Now inhale, hover your right leg just a couple of inches off of your mat. And exhale, step it to the top of your mat. Lower down to your back knee. Inhale, kneeling crescent. Reach both fingertips up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bring your hands together at heart center. So remember if you have a lot of pressure in this base knee, your foundational knee, to place a towel or a blanket underneath there for some added support. Going into a little bit of a twist, take a deep breath in. Exhale, open arm twist. You twist open to your right side. Your right arm extends behind you, your left arm forward. Keep your abdominals hugged up and in and feel strong here. Lengthen through your fingertips. Gaze wherever is comfortable in your neck. If you wanna complete the twist, you can gaze at your back hand. You can gaze at the side or directly forward. Two more rounds of breath here, inhale. Exhale. Another deep breath in. And exhale, let it go. Coming up to standing, inhale, warrior one. Tuck your back toes, then release your back heel down towards the mat. Reach both fingertips up towards the ceiling. Breathe. So there's a slight bend in your front leg. Your back heel and outer edge of your back foot is connected to the mat. Square your hips, draw your abdominals up and in to protect your lower back. Relax your shoulders down, knit your front ribs in together, inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Open up to the long edge side of your mat. Breathe here. Front knee is stacked on top of your ankle and then feel your knee press open towards your pinky toe. Engage the arch of your front leg. That's gonna protect your knee. Gaze over your front hand, draw your abdominals in. Your back heel, back foot, is flat on the mat. Inhale, reverse warrior. Sweep your top hand high, breathe here. Light pressure on your back hand. Relax your right shoulder down and away from your ears. Open up through your right side body, inhale. Exhale, tabletop pose. Cartwheel your hands all the way down to your mat. Come back to that tabletop. Inhale here. Exhale, downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back. Inhale your left leg just a little bit off of your mat, a couple of inches. And exhale, step it forward, back to that kneeling crescent lunge. Fingertips reach up tall, breathe. Remember, you can add that support on your back knee, a folded towel or a blanket. Stay lifted in your abdominals to protect your lower back. Bring your hands together at heart center. Inhale. Exhale, open arm twist to the left side. Twist open to your left leg. Gaze wherever's comfortable in your neck. If you want to gaze at your back hand, to the side, or over your front hand. Stay lifted in your abdominals and engage your glutes. Two rounds of breath here, inhale. Exhale. Another deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. 
Nice work. Now inhale, warrior one. Tuck your back toes and press your back foot into the mat. Reach both fingertips up towards the ceiling. Breathe. No sway in your lower back. Hug your lower abdominals in. Square your hips to the front. Relax your shoulders down. Knit your ribs together. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Open up to the long edge side of your mat. Bend into your front knee, breathe. Your back heel should be connected to your mat. Press through the outer edge of your back foot. Relax your shoulders, draw your abdominals in and engage the arch of your front foot. That protects your knee. Inhale, reverse warrior, sweep your top hand high. Breathe. Pull your left shoulder down and away from your ears. Open up through your left side body, but stay lifted here on the right side. Deep breath in. Exhale, tabletop pose. Cartwheel your hands, plant them down onto your mat. Hold your tabletop here. Just a little bit of core work. Reach your right arm in front of you. Extend your left arm behind you, your left leg behind you. Know that you can always keep both hands planted for some more support. Stay lifted in your center. Hold this just for four, four, three. Back to your tabletop in two, and one tabletop. This time reach your left arm out in front of you, extend your right leg behind you. Dial your right hip down, stay lifted in your center. Hold it strong, just for four. Last three, two, and one. Come back to your tabletop. Then make your way to your tailbone. Extend your legs out long in front of you. Put a slight bend in your knees if you would like. Flex your toes up towards the ceiling. Inhale, reach both arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, seated forward fold, reach for your toes. So bend your knees as much as you need to make contact with your feet. Relax your shoulders down and breathe. You can close your eyes. If you wanna take it a little bit more into your hamstrings, you can start to lengthen out your legs. We move with our breath, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. One more deep breath in. And one more exhale, let it go. Engage your core, roll up through your spine. Scoot forward on your mat if you need to, and then lower all the way down till you're laying flat on your mat. Extend your arms out long beside you. Bend your knees. Then cross your right knee over your left. Inhale here. Exhale, supine twist with eagle legs. You drop your legs over to the left side of your body. Plant your right shoulder into your mat, so keep it attached. Gaze up at the ceiling or at your right hand to complete the twist. Just breathe here. You might feel this twist a little bit more in your right outer glute than you would just your regular supine twist. And come back to center. Switch your legs out. Cross your left leg over the top of your right. If you need to, shift your hips to the left. Inhale. Exhale, supine twist with eagle legs. Drop your legs this time over to the right. Gaze wherever is comfortable in your neck. So try not to hold onto any strain or tension in your body here. Allow gravity to take over and just release everything. Inhale, come back to center. Give your knees a tight hug. Squeeze them into your chest and connect your forehead to your knees. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, Shavasana. Lower all the way down. Extend
extend your legs long and then let them relax. Let your feet flop out to the side. Allow your body to really melt and relax into your mat. Let the earth hold your weight. Release your tongue from the roof of your mouth, unhinge your jaw. Have a soft focus when your eyes are closed up and find stillness. Try to quiet your thoughts or bring focus to your breath. Maybe you count your breath. And just be. I will guide you out of your shavasana when it's time. above your head for a full body stretch reach through your fingertips point through your toes and then bend your knees in and make your way to either side of your mat curl into a little ball or fetal pose use your bicep as a pillow and pause here for just a moment closed or softly focus start to press up to a seat at the top of your mat come to an easy seat or sukhasana always remember that you can put a block or a blanket underneath your tailbone find a tall spine bring your hands to rest along your knees deep breath in exhale let it go and on just like that and now Open mouth, exhale. Bring your hands together at heart center. We'll bow forward in mutual gratitude. Thank you so much for your time, for your effort. Congratulate yourself on doing something just for you.